the T is going to be real in this documentary. Here in the steel city of Sheffield, spotlights beam down and dancers take to the stage as new queens prepare to be coronated. Hi, my name is Lauren and I am the choreographer and assistant producer. I'm Fonte and I'm actually going to be a drag queen in this show. I'm Megan and I'm a backup dancer. All right, um, hi, my name is Will Gabitas and I'm a dancer in the show. Here in Sheffield, a small but ambitious drag show is being produced by a group of college drama students. From rehearsals, to costuming, to music mixes, to lighting, this group of hopefuls will be organising it all. Drama student and brand new drag queen Tom will be organising the set list and headlining the show, whilst experienced dancer Lauren choreographs the performances and producers. Between them, they've created a dream team of dancers and drag queens to mark their debut. I think it was when we were doing the panto at college. I don't know, we were just talking about random shows. We're like, oh, let's do Les Mis and let's do, I don't know, Greatest Showman. So here we are doing a drag show. I kind of struggle a lot with identity and I think acting has kind of helped me. So I thought about how could I do that for the drag show when it came around. I promised myself, like after 2020, that I'm not just gonna, you know, just do the same thing. I think doing the same old thing is boring and we should all f that. You know, representation is really important and it's, it's nice that people are talking about it more. It's nice that we're kind of entertaining them more because, you know, not so long ago, people were not so trustworthy or so interested in what was going on in the drag scene. So now that we're giving it more attention, I think it's really important. I have been dancing for quite a long time. Um, I'd say I, I started properly dancing about a year ago, um, but I've been dancing since I was like four. I've been into it and it's always been in my family, I guess. It's very nice because you have this group of friends who have come, come together to create this project. It's really come together quite nicely. Um, and so when you get into the rehearsal room, you actually can't start doing stuff. It's been tons of fun. When it comes to group work, we all get along. The drag queens have got along really well. Somehow we've all we've all like clicked doing like knowing different things. Like we came from different backgrounds. Some people know dance, some people don't. Some people have never done drag at all. And it's just really been nice. It's been a nice atmosphere to be around, knowing people who's done it, people who hasn't. I think the final show is going to go really good. We're all putting in effort, we're all coming to rehearsals, so that should be very good. I think we're getting a lot more confident and I think we're getting a lot more hopeful. Things are going so well. Oh, I, I think it's going to go great. Um, I think it was, going, it was going to go great from the start. It was such a good idea from Tom, so for us to actually hopefully pull it off, I think it's going to go real. Dances. Chef's kiss. I think there are certain aspects of the show that will go well and I think there are certain aspects that won't. Yeah, I'm hopeful. I think we're going to get there, but we'll see. The first time I looked at the venue, I was sort of like, oh God, here we go, this is going to be fun. But then when I actually visited it, I remember going in and sort of being like, oh, this is actually quite nice. I can definitely picture a drag show being put there and it really got me thinking of how many people's actually going to come in. I'm Maurice Champo, I'm General Manager and Secretary of Cook's Social Club, where we have the pleasure of Connie's Angels this evening. Tom contacted me a while ago, wanted to put on a charity do. We've worked together getting this all set up and ready, and I'm really excited to see the show tonight. The artists are looking spectacular, and I think we're all in for a great night. I do think with put everything together now and it's come really well with the dancers, with the queens. My remit was to come along um, a couple of months ago, I had a, a conversation with Tom over dinner and said, look, if you need anything on the day, just a tiny bit of backstory. Today is the first day of spring, 21st of March, and it's my mum, would have been my mum's 90th birthday. 
and when he said he was doing the drag show on today I know she would have been sat at the front with a red lipstick on completely enjoying the whole thing and um, so I said to him right anything you need doing on the day if you need help setting up or if you need just running around just offered moral support that was the main thing <sighs> time flies when you're having fun and for this team time was up supported by precious an experienced drag queen the show was about to start. Do you know what? I'm really happy. I'm really happy how it's gone. The audience is great. It could not have gone better. Feet are bleeding. Try it. What? It doesn't even, not even dancing. Anything in general. Try it out. If you don't like it, you've tried it. Can't make any excuses. As soon as I got into it, I loved it more and more. And it's what you love and not what other people love or what other people think of you. There's no one else that can stop you other than yourself. 